Okay, good evening folks. Thanks for coming tonight. As Rachel said, my name is Ed Fleming. I'm a colonel in the United States Army, and I'm the district commander for the New Orleans District U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. So what that means is I'm responsible for everything that happens or fails to happen as it relates to the Corps of Engineers, from the Pearl River in the east to the Sabine River in the west, uh, up to a point at about Angola and straight across now, so basically South Louisiana. Okay. I can hear your thoughts, please, on uh, the possibility of building a surge barrier at the Wrigley's and the Chef Highway. We can't continue to build levees around every city and every entity in the entire state. Uh, you know, it, it just, it, if we build it around every municipality, we're still going to leave places out. Uh, we need to find a way to protect the entire Lake Pontchartrain Basin. And I know President Brister and myself has, has pulled the parish presidents together, uh, the mayors together. We met with our congressional our, uh, congressional leaders, our senators, and uh, verbally we've got commitments from them that they're on board to try to see something like this happen. Uh, I'd like to know the core's position on that. Uh, okay. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. This one's going to take me a couple minutes, but I'll try and give you the Reader's Digest version. Uh, most of you guys who were around back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and by looking at the audience, almost everybody I think was around during that time, um, you know that the Corps actually proposed that barrier plan in the first place. And, and we had plans, as a matter of fact, we had designs to move forward on a barrier plan. Um, we were brought to court. Uh, so we were sued, uh, and we were enjoined by a federal judge. When you get enjoined, that means you can't build that until I tell you you can build it. Um, so after about five or ten years worth of arguing back and forth of what we can build and what we can't build and what impact it will have on the environment and what it won't, the Corps of Engineers finally decided, okay, look, we got, we're going to build something, and so we're going to stop arguing about this barrier plan, and we're just going to give uncle, we're going to give up, and we're going to go to our second option, which was either the, what, what some folks might call the parallel plan or the high-level plan, right? And so instead of building the barrier across the Chef and the Wrigley's, we built higher levees around the lakefront uh, in the Orleans East and Orleans Metro area. Um, and, and again, I'll tell you, some people might not want to hear it, but I'll tell you, and, and I don't know, you guys were here. I was not here. But I think you guys know with that lawsuit, we were sued by basically two entities. There was an environmental organization that sued us, and there was the St. Tammany Parish Jury that sued us. So the two organizations that didn't want us to build the barrier plan were the environmental groups and the St. Tammany Parish leadership. So fast forward to, um, well, to now. Um, so let me go back to 2009 for a minute. One of the reports we published called LACPR, which uh, Tim Axman wrote, he grandfathered. Um, uh, it, it, that talked a lot about a barrier. And there are really two kinds of barriers that we proposed. One is kind of what we would call an overtopping weir, probably not as high, allows waves to overtop, um, but breaks the surge off. Um, the other barrier would be a big wall, and that would allow a lot less water to come over the top. It would be more looking like something that, if you haven't seen it yet, down in, in uh, along uh, uh, Lake Bourne. Um, so as recent as 2009, we have documentation and studies that say we support this, we think it's a good idea. A few minutes ago you made a comment about um, the judge told you you couldn't go forward until you gave them an environmental impact yeah. study. Yeah. So 40 years later, why haven't you given them an impact study? 
because we decided to not to build the barrier plant and to build the high level plant. So can you do it now and then maybe you can get it going? I don't know, that's a great question. That's why I got my folks researching trying to figure this out. If we can get it uh, unstuck, maybe we could. I mean, I'm not optimistic. I'm not. Okay? So how hard would it be? Because I'm, I'm one of the folks that kind of thinks, although I can be convinced otherwise, but I'm one of the folks that kind of think that we had an authority and we had two choices. A barrier or the high level plant. And we built the high level plant. 